Hey guys, chefs here. Welcome to the chefs. And if you're new here, please do subscribe and press the all notifications so you never miss an update. So today I'm gonna show you how you can install Windows 11 on your external drive, or you just want to drive Windows 11 without affecting the Windows 10. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on your screen, my PC is not supported by Windows 11. The processor on my PC is not supported. So first of all we will download the Windows 11 ISO file. I will provide the link in the description you can download it from there. There are three ways to install Windows 11. First one is the Windows 11 installation assistant. This will directly install Windows 11 on your device. The second option is create Windows 11 installation media. So if you have USB or DVD, you can directly burn the Windows 11 onto that and then just apply it to your PC. Third one is download Windows ISO disk image. So I will use the third method. You can select Windows 11 then language and then start the download. Now we will download the Rufus. This will allow us to burn the Windows ISO file onto the external drive. Now we will plug in any external drive. Now we will launch the Rufus and we will allow the permission and after that so this kind of interface will be shown so under advanced setting you will check the list usb hard drives and it will show you the external hard drive that you have so it should be more than 64 gb and after that we will select the downloaded windows 11 iso file after that under image option we will select the windows to go and under partition scheme we will select mbr and after that we will label the volume you can label it anything i just will label it windows 11 and after that we will start and it will show you the version you want to install so you can select anyone and press ok it will show you the warning that all the data on the device will be deleted so before doing this make sure all the data on that hard drive has been moved then click ok Now close the window and shut down the PC. Now we will enter the BIOS. So different PCs have different kind of key to enter the BIOS. Some has when you press the power key then immediately you will press any function key that will launch the BIOS. So in my case I have a dedicated key so I just have to pin that and I will enter in the BIOS. Now in the BIOS, we will go to the BIOS setup. Then we will go to boot option and you can select the boot priority or the boot in the UEFI mode. And after that, we will go under the EFI and you will change the boot order. So here, a USB device 3.0, which is the external drive, and I will change it to top so that it will be booted first. So while installing Windows, sometimes uh, the PC 
restarts itself uh, one two times so if i don't change the order then it will boot the windows 10 and maybe i have to do the process again so that's why i'm changing the boot order now there's other option that you have to turn off that is the secure boot here i don't have that option if you have or if it is grayed out then you just have to go to security and then set administrator password or supervisor password and after that you can turn off the secure boot option and then go back to the security and select administrator password and click the old password and leave the new ones blank after that save the changes now it will boot the external hard drive and will install windows 11 Now you will select the country or region After that the keyboard layout Accept the license agreement and then you can name your PC and your password. And privacy settings, so I always turn them off. Now, after some time, the Windows 10 will be installed. Here you can see it's a little laggy here so I installed it on the hard drive that's why it, look, it looks like a little laggy but if I installed it on my SSD so this will work very fine.
now we will change the setting so you will boot directly into windows 10 we will enter the bios and change the order again For here I just have SSD so I will put at the top and after that save the changes. After saving the changes, I will directly boot into Windows 10. As you can see here, Windows 10 works fine. And if you want to, if you want to boot directly into Windows 11 without changing the settings, you can do that by going to BIOS, and then you can see there is a boot option, boot menu. And when you click on that, you can click on the external drive that you have, and it will directly boot into Windows 11. So that's all from my end. If you enjoy what you're seeing, then please like the video. And if you like the content I'm providing, then please do subscribe. And if you want to say something, then please write it down in the comment section. This is Chaps and I will see you in the next one.